My name is Lucas Haybegger and I'm the Associate Director of Bioinformatics at the Regeneron Genetic Center. At a high level, what we're doing at the Regeneron Genetic Center is using different genetic approaches to gain insights into the, the function of genes and how they're related to disease. And our ultimate goal is to identify new potential drug targets to help patients in need. And it turns out that drug discovery is an extremely difficult problem. In fact, more than 95% of all the experimental medicines that are currently in the pipeline are expected to fail. And that's despite the fact that our industry is spending you know, billions of dollars um, every single year. And one of the key reasons is we don't have good drug targets. So that's why so many of the drugs fail. But when we can use genetic evidence, we can significantly increase the likelihood of success. Big data plays a key role in, in our business because essentially what we're doing is we sequence a very large amount of patients. Then able to do is to perform an all by all association test where we look for correlations between mutations and these disease traits to see whether there's an underlying signal. And through this process, we generate a huge amount of data which we then want to be able to mine in, in different ways. So our main use cases for Databricks are around unifying the data because that's a big challenge for us because the data, the genomic and clinical data is highly decentralized. So we're using Databricks to unify not only the data but also the tools. And then the, the second big use case is to address some of the scalability challenges that we have faced because we have now billions of association results that we want to be able to mine in an effective way. Prior to using Databricks, um, many of our analysts have spent, uh, I would say, hours if not, not days to just wrangle the data, get the data ready, um, transform it in a way so that, that it can be used for analysis later on. The Databricks platform is enabling us to analyze the data in new ways that was previously impossible. It makes it much easier to spin up clusters and we also like the functionality of the Databricks notebooks. In our previous use cases, we have done all of this work manually, essentially, and we spent way too much time getting the cluster ready and properly configured. So we're very happy that Databricks is taking care of um, managing the clusters and we can focus on the science now. We also achieved significant improvements both on the ETL side and also in the query response time. So on the ETL side, we were able to um, reduce the, the time it takes to process the data from weeks to just a few hours. And now for the query response time, we were able to reduce it from you know, more than 30 minutes to just a few seconds now. So it has been truly transformative. The Databricks Unified Analytics Platform is enabling us not only to bring together the data, the tools, and the people, but it also enables us to truly accelerate innovation.